Hello and welcome to Top Stories on Viewer Television. I am Patient Sidi. The Jigawa state government has said that all Naira notes remain legal tender in the state pending the judgment of the Supreme Court. The State Commissioner for Information, Youth, Sports and Culture, Ibrahim Mamsa, said that this in a statement issued late Thursday. This is coming despite the petition of President Mohamed Buhari that only uh, 200 old and remain of uh, legal tender till April 10th, while the 500 and 1,000 notes cease to be legal tender. The state government urged residents to report any trader or business organization that refuses to accept the old 200, 500, and 1,000 notes as legal tender to the nearest appropriate authorities and the state. Now, the National Examination Council has announced that it has released the results of the November-December 2022 Senior School Certificate Examination. The Registrar of NACO, Professor Denteni Ibrahim Washishi, who made the announcement in Minanaja State, said a total of 59,124 candidates sat the examination, comprising 31,360 males and 27,000 808 females. He further disclosed that the number of candidates who scored five credits and above, including English, language, and mathematics, was 3,914, representing 57.36%. Speaking on the issue of examination mark practices, which she said 11,419 candidates were booked for various forms of malpractices. Against the one, the 4,454 in 2021, which shows a sharp rise in the number of malpractice cases. According to him, this was largely due to the improvement in the strategy and technique adopted by the monitoring offices, or officers, which led to the black uh, blacklisting of four supervisors, one each from River State and Plateau State, and two from Ogun State for aiding and abating, as well as poor supervision. With about one week to the presidential election, the Nigeria Police Force has said it would deploy 310,973 of its personnel to the over 176, 846 polling units nationwide for the exercises holding on February 25th and March 11th. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, who disclosed this in Abuja, however, noted that as much as the Nigerian police has perfected plans to endanger uh, peaceful electoral process, the following have been identified as possible challenges. Hate speeches, political intolerance and extremism, as well as anti-democratic conduct of some state governors and other strategic political actors, which will inflame the political space. The police helmsman spoke at the 66th session of the state ministerial briefing organized by the presidential communication team at the Asurok Villa. Uh, Benue State High Court has restrained the People's Democratic Party from either expelling or disqualifying Governor Otom from contesting in the forthcoming senatorial race. Otom seeks to contest to represent Benue North uh, West Senatorial District in the Senate. The restraining order made the Justice A.I. Itoyo Yeman was also directed at the Independent National Electoral Commission, which was joined as second respondent in Otom's expertise application. Otom has a running battle with his party for refusing to back the party's presidential candidate, Atiko Abubakar. The United States President Joe Biden was declared fit for duty by his doctor after the final annual medical checkup before he is expected to declare his running for re-election in 2024 when he will be 82. The keenly awaited report after extensive testing found some relatively minor issues but said Biden 
it was clear of serious physical and neurological problems. Biden, the oldest person over to be U.S. president, spent the morning completing a series of tests that he began last year at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, a complex in the Washington suburbs with a presidential facility. He has not, or he has not declared a re-election bid with which is widely expected to do so soon. With the campaign starting to heat up on the Republican side, so far the fourth runner is former President Trump, uh, whom Biden beat in the tumultuous 2020 elections. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in collaboration with the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security, has organized the signing of peace accord by all political parties in Gombe State. The move is aimed at ensuring peaceful, credible, free and fair elections in the conduct of all elections in Gombe State. 13 out of the 14 political parties were with their gubernatorial candidates and party chairman signed a peace accord with the exception of People's Democratic Party, PDP. And now our correspondent Christopher Luca completes the report. The 2023 general elections in Gombe State will provide opportunity for voters to give their verdict on the presidential elections and 34 other constituencies made up of one governorship constituency, three senatorial districts, six federal and 24 state constituencies. In keeping with 2022 Electoral Act, political parties, including incumbent Governor Inoue Yahya, append their signatures to the dotted lines of the peace accord to commit to non-violent conduct before, during, and after 2023 general elections. As a governor and the chief security officer and a contestant, you see, elections itself will not hold in an atmosphere of rancor and uh, skirmishes. And we are after peace and security. Nothing will go until there is peace and there is security in the country. So as Democrats, we must ensure that we maintain the peace so that we succeed, one, in conducting the elections, and two, in seeing that there is good governance in the country at large. However, there was a plot twist when the People's Democratic Party, PDP, declined to sign the peace accord alleging marginalization, vote buying, and insecurity. All of you are aware of what has been happening to the PDP in terms of attacks on our people. We have reported officially to all the security agencies, especially the lead security agent, the police, no action has been taken. New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, also alleges instances of marginalization, but signed the peace accord anyway. Some of us that are coming from the parties that are not very popular, so there are so many things that are happening. Some of these things that we signed are already violated and we don't have a voice to say it out. While admitting that signing the peace accord is a matter of choice, INEC and the police say a level playing field has been provided for all political parties in the state. You see, when you make wild allegations, when you make allegations, you should prove. Have they come out to say, oh, Mr. A bought PVC from Mr. B? And, hold on, hold on. And then, can you take my ATM card to the bank without my PIN number? I said that we are not coercing anybody. It is in our collective interest. So we are not saying that everybody must come and sign. You must. So it is your wish. So And, and uh, in a place where you have about 80 or so people, uh, persons, they have already signed. So I think it is fair enough. Gombe State, under the Inwa Yahya led administration, has been adjudged by many quarters to be the safest state in Nigeria, which the governor assures commitment to defending amidst the hustles and bustles of 2023 general polls. Christopher Luca, Viewer Television News, Gombe. And that's all on Top Stories. I am Patient CD. Stay tuned and enjoy the rest of our programs.